Hello! I am sat in a car after a very, very, very long time, especially on M5. We are heading to Glasgow um, after six months, exactly six months now. Yeah, we're driving up to Glasgow after six months now. My mum has moved house. We've been isolating for three months. She's been isolating for three months. So we just need to go and visit her and visit my in-laws also and my nieces. One of my nieces passed by day. Of now, course, with the social distancing. Thing. Yeah, definitely, with the social distancing. Yeah, now, that Nic common sense. now that Nicola Sturgeon has uh, relax the uh, roots a little bit so we can okay it's time to go back up uh, to visit them no one else just a family we are taking work along with us that's Lakshman's work laptop bag and my laptop in there it's meant to be a holiday hopefully it stays as a holiday so I thought I'll vlog this trip to see how it is are you excited to go to Glasgow yep what are you excited the most? To see the family. What else? That's all? Just to see the family? That's all. But that's what Glasgow trip always is about. Every time we go to Glasgow, it's just to see the family. It's not really well, we don't sightseeing or... Of the lockdown, but, yeah, uh, it's yeah, that's... Uh, but usually we don't do anything else in Glasgow anyway. It's just spending time with the family at home, eating, playing with the kids. That's all it is. But this time though, I'm excited about the house because my mom is moving today. You know, until yesterday, it didn't kick in at all for me. I thought, yeah, that's fine. She's moving to another house. That's okay. But it's not like she's moved on her own before also. But just yesterday, I started getting excited, wanting to see the house, see how it is. Did you say we're not stopping in a service center? What if I have to go to the loop? Six hour journey to Glasgow. Six hours. I forgot two things. I normally pack with list. I pack all of my things with proper list. I forgot to take my mini tripod for the food. And I forgot to take all of the greeting cards that I bought. I bought um, a new home card for my mother, Father's Day card for my brother-in-law and a first birthday card for my niece. I left everything at home. I need to go and find it in Glasgow tomorrow. I have to buy new ones tomorrow. <laughs> this is my first sip of water after... Six hours. Se seven hours. I stopped drinking at 12. We didn't want to stop at any service station, so we didn't drink any water. I'm severely, severely dehydrated and lacking in sleep. But the good news is we're almost there. Five more minutes. Well, yeah, we yeah. To less than five minutes and we are home. But we've reached Glasgow, we've reached the street that we need to. So happy days, we can get out of the car soon. Good morning, it's actually half six now. I didn't sleep much at all last night. I usually can't sleep in new places in different places. So that's that. But we are up early today because we've got a lot to do. If you heard that, that wasn't a cat. That was Lakshman in the background seeking some attention. Um, he's got his work and desk set up, up and running and he needs to get some work done. Let me show you what we are going to be up to today. My mission today is to sort out a lot of things, is to empty all of the boxes and the bin bags and stuff. This is what we're dealing with. Just need to get that up to the attic, get rid of the boxes, empty these stuff in here. I think these are all living room and kitchen things. We need to empty those. That's going up to the office room. That's... I don't know why that's going. We have to do something about that. More bin bags here. Um, and these ones especially, there are quite a lot of bags and boxes here. Need to sort out all of these things. Life is a winding road. 
No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let figure out where the road goes Good morning Sunday morning today we made a lot of progress yesterday. So the mission today is to sort out the office room. I'll show you what it looks like. It's not too bad actually, the rest of the house is done. It's just the office room that's remaining. My mother is downstairs trying to organize the kitchen properly. I'm going to unpack all of the boxes here, get rid of everything. I think one of the kitchen boxes is up here in um, the office room. So I need to find that and take it down. I need to find a place to put all of the books and everything. Um, this TV cabinet behind me, it was meant to go up to the attic. I kind of changed my mind in the last minute and sorted it out here. So it's fixed here in the office room and I need to arrange everything and organize everything properly. Let me show you how it looks like. That's a TV cabinet that I need to arrange all of the books and use it. Um, these things are all going up to the attic. Some of these are going up to the attic. I need to empty all of these things. There are a few more boxes and everything and I need to empty all of these things and arrange it in here and most likely try and push this set of drawers into that area there hopefully and that bookshelf might go up. If this doesn't fit in there, the bookshelf is going to stay and this is going to stay. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let's figure out where the road goes You know, there's a lot of people who throw plastics away People don't collect pl plastics, don't do anything My mother has folded plastics and kept it for god knows how many years but donkey's years now and she packed that and brought it to the new house these are all plastics purchases from i mean plastics from other purchases in the past and she wanted to reuse it my grandmother does it i think a lot of asians do it they keep plastics and they fold everything look at all of these things paper bags and everything to reuse okay paper bags is understandable but plastics so unnecessary. All of this been carrying it forward to another house. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.
have I did today? The last couple of days have been crazy busy. I start off every morning with good intentions that I'm going to pick up my phone and start vlogging and you know document everything that I've been doing. It's been six months since I came to Glasgow. My mother's moved, it's my niece's birthday and I'm seeing my nieces after so long also. So there's a lot going on and I thought it would be fun to document everything. But it's just I'm so overwhelmed with everything that is there to do. There isn't much, it feels as if there isn't much but the bits and pieces that we are doing it's like it's just tiring really tiring last night we were building a tv cabinet and a kitchen cabinet Bakshan is doing the kitchen cabinet himself and i was building a tv cabinet with my brother-in-law that's that um we've been up to a lot the house is almost done just bits and pieces here and there waiting for some motion sensor lights to come and then fit it outside the house but we've done the curtains and the clocks and the mirrors Lakshman's fitting in one mirror now in my mother's room i need to organize my mother's wardrobe I chucked everything in and emptied all of the boxes in the suitcase but I still haven't finished organizing that so I need to do that. But we're having dinner tonight in my mother's house. This is the first time that my in-laws are coming. My options for breakfast today. Shortbread, um, subway cookies and cupcakes. Most likely I'll go for this. This is all I've been eating the last few days. So much cookies, so much cupcakes and cakes and there's more cakes to come tonight. There's still two boxes and stuff all over the place. My mother is still fidgeting with the bin. She's trying to find the right place, an appropriate place to put it so that it doesn't show very obviously. I still have some pieces to do in the house, but anyway, I was going to say about the plans for tonight. I'm not really a party person, not really big on anything, but with the lockdown and social distancing and stuff, we're obviously not meeting anyone, not inviting anyone else to the house. So it's just family who's going to come and visit, whom we've spent time with, whom we've been isolating with together anyway. Um, we are having dinner, most likely Chinese for dinner. And my birthday cake, I saw this ice cream cake online a few days ago, a few weeks ago. And I said I wanted an ice cream cake. So I have a feeling I'm either going to get an ice cream cake or a cheesecake and they're baking it for me. But no one's really telling me anything. So I don't really know what the plan is. It's not like I'm, you know, really, really young, like my niece is wanting to have like a themed birthday party and this and that and everything. But it's just going to be a nice time with children. A lot of people have been calling and messaging and wishing me for my birthday. It's really sweet. It's really nice to know that people take time to do that. Even when I don't take time to speak to people, I don't, I don't take the initiative. It's not something that I'm really proud of. Uh, it's not something that I'm proud to admit, to be honest. I don't take initiative sometimes to do things, but when people do that to me, I really, really appreciate that. Day today with this two little misses in the back. <laughs> Everyone is stretching. It was a half an hour drive from where we were, um, from where we live actually, and all of us fell asleep in the car except for the driver obviously. Wide awake now and ready for shoot. So we have started our photo shoot, found the car park, parked got some of the stuff because we wanted to stop by this um, river area to do some shoots over here and then we wanted to go back and pick up some more props but we've been distracted with that thing up there that Akshun is playing with he's um, picked his brother's drone and then his brother's gone missing somewhere baby number two is crying uh, we need to see how this is gonna work coming coming we are out in the field flying the drone it's such a surreal experience flying over this field. The sunset is gorgeous, it's so beautiful. And I'm loving the drone. I really want to get one for myself now. Aksha, that's your mummy.
years after six or months because of the lockdown we were not able to come up. Um, we didn't see anyone else, we didn't meet anyone else, just our families, we lived in my mother's house. We've all been isolating for three or months ever since the video was done anyway. So that was that. It was really, really nice seeing our, our nieces all grown up and helping my mum with the house move and so many things like that. How did you find your class with you? It was good. It was short, but it was good. It was satisfying. Definitely grateful that we got to spend time with them, definitely grateful that none of them uh, have been affected by the pandemic, by the virus or anything else surrounding that. Mental health suffered for sure uh, in recovery, but other than that everyone's fine and healthy. Hopefully things get better, well, things are getting better, so yeah. we should be able to do more frequent trip. Yeah, our regular trip. We probably won't fly up to Glasgow for some time now. We'll just drive instead. I think it's about time explore UK probably. Yeah. But remember we were actually considering doing a Lake District trip this time? Yeah. With the family instead of going up to Glasgow or them coming to Bristol. We were going but to the do a Lake District it has to be spontaneous because of the weather. Yeah. We'll need to plan it and do it. But spontaneous holidays is not gonna happen with us. It's difficult for us to book time off from work and it's difficult for them with their work also when they are timing and you know commitments and everything. Um, it will need a bit of planning but it will probably need a lot more commitment from our side in planning a holiday as opposed to having a spontaneous trip as it was just to be the two of us. It was a nice trip all together. I hope you enjoy um, watching this. We had a lot of memories this time with the drone especially my mother's new house and meeting the nieces, the first birthday and all of those things. I will see you again soon.